I don't think there's a man in the world that would love to have the swagger and look like a badass without even having to say a word. You guys already know, women love men that look tough, that have a cool vibe and, well, they're just unfazed by anything. Now here's the awesome part, you can send those cool vibes just with the clothing that you wear. Today I'm gonna show you how to dress like a bad boy to never be confused for the nice guy. Let's hop into it. Number one. Plain t-shirts only. If you're trying to dress like a bad boy, forget the wacky graphic tees or the juvenile band tees. You want to dress casually? Keep it simple. Your confidence should do most of the talking. So simple white and black t-shirts is all you need. Pair that with a clean cut pair of blue dark jeans and you're sending the right signal. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Number two, dress like a man. Too many young dudes out here think that if you dress youthfully with torn denim and streetwear trends, you're gonna end up looking tough. Instead, you just look immature because that's what the culture is associated with. What you should dress like is like a grown man because maturity is a seriously attractive trait for women and when you project that matureness, you end up looking like a badass. For example, the saying that real men wear watches that ain't no joke. And this is why I rep brands like Movement Watches all the time. They don't have to be crazy expensive to look good. And is it just me or is Movement picking up their game? Look at this beautiful new timepiece that I just picked up from Movement Watches. The design, the quality, this thing looks like a three, four, five hundred dollar watch. I spent under 200 bucks on it. Watches are just an accessory that elevate your status, make you look more mature, and make sure that you stand out from all the other juvenile boys. This is because a, a watch is a symbol of status. It, it, it's, it's a functional timepiece, of course, but when you wear it, it's really the one piece of jewelry every dude can wear and wear comfortably. When you wear it, your outfit is elevated and you look grown, like a serious adult, like a bad boy. But here's the thing. You don't want to go with a wacky watch. You want something that's classy and refined. Something like this new movement model that they just dropped. This has to be probably one of my current favorites that I've been wearing all the time. It's such a lightweight, all metal design that it feels comfortable on the wrist. It's not heavy at all. And when you wear it, you almost forget that you're wearing a watch. And the best part is, is the look that it gives. When people see this watch, it looks like a high-end luxury timepiece, even though it's a fashion watch. And that's the great thing with movement. You don't have to be rich to look good. And this is the movement that this brand started. Millions of men across the globe know this because millions of men have purchased these watches and know how great they are. And if you want to join the movement and check out just how amazing these watches are, go ahead and click that link down below. When you click that link, there's going to be a special offer. Right now, they're offering you 15% off, which is pretty insane. They're already affordable watches. When you click that link, you're going to see some of my top picks and the watches that I personally like and some of them that I have in my own collection. And the best part of it all is that you're going to be spending under 150 sometimes around 100 bucks for most of these watches and get a really good watch. For example, the one that I'm wearing is using stainless steel construction, a Japanese quartz movement, and a beautiful royal blue sundial that, like I said, really makes it look like a high quality piece. If you guys want to check out Movement Watches and see their whole collection of watches, like I said, they're going to be linked down below. Number three, you're going to need some facial hair. If you can grow it, flaunt it. You're going to need it. This bad boy would, will add years of wisdom to your presence and a rugged aesthetic that's tough to match with a clean shaven face. The goal here is to have at least a shadow that's shaped up and well kept. Because if you look at any bad boy that you look up to, like Brad Pitt, Conor McGregor, Colin Farrell, or Jason Satham, that badass look can never be matched if your face looks like Justin Bieber. Number four, masculine footwear. And there's only one word you need to remember. This is always a safe bet. White leather sneakers, leather lace-ups, leather boots. These are all grown man shoes that will make you look hotter, more mature, and more like a badass. On the other hand, what you should avoid are shoes with very delicate silhouettes that will make you look a bit feminine, like your espadrilles or canvas sneakers, sandals, crocs, loafers. These aren't very masculine or bulky enough to really give you that bad boy aesthetic. Number five, your jeans. These are gonna be your go-to, not shorts or not chino. And this is because jeans are rugged, durable, and tough just like you are. When you find the right one, these are gonna be your staple, your go-tos that you're gonna be wear, able to wear every single day. And when it comes to jeans, you wanna make sure the cut is right. You don't want something classic that's overly baggy because you're just gonna look like your dad, or something that's too tight and just like the shoes, it's gonna be too feminine of an aesthetic and really, you won't be scaring anybody. Instead, you wanna, you wanna straight or slim cut that fits your leg properly. This will make you look longer, taller, and overall, more like a badass. Finally, number six, it's your jewelry. Every bad boy wears jewelry, and you've seen it across celebrities. Everything from necklaces to watches, rings, 
or even bracelets. Jewelry just has, if you wear the right ones, it has the potential of making you look more tough, more rugged, which is exactly what you're looking for. When you do wear jewelry though, that you're trying to look like a bad boy, you want to avoid jewelry that's too much bling or too much in your face. This tends to send the opposite me message and be more delicate versus tough. And that's basically it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Those are six simple things anybody can do to dress like a bad boy and never look like the nice guy. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Movements. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.